Hello friends, welcome. So in this video, today we will learn what are what is the custom post types and taxonomies and how we can register custom post types and taxonomies. So before before uh, like uh, before go with uh, what is custom post types. So custom post types is used to create a different types of content. So for example, when you install the WordPress, you can see a post, media, and pages. So all these are the custom uh, post types. So the custom post types is used to represent or to create a, a different kind of contents uh, in your site. So pages represent a website, uh, pages like about us, career page or any other pages. Uh, then post uh, in the post post type, we can create a different uh, articles or blog post and display in the front end in the media, it's, which is called attachment post type. Um, and they, to, uh, this uh, attachment post type we, we use to uh, store all the media information, upload the media and media meta information. So similarly, how we can register a custom post type in a WordPress. So for example, you can see here a uh, movies. So I have created a movies custom post type. Okay, so let's talk. Let's see how we can register the custom post types. So, if you prefer a handbook, official handbook, or plugin handbook, uh, you can see the various. Um, uh, you can use the register post type function uh, to register a uh, custom post type. Okay, and they have also provided a naming based practices and some of the best practices which we can follow. So, let's go through them one by one. So, uh, so officially, uh, we recommended to put your custom post types in a plugin rather than a theme. So this will allow, uh, so let's say if uh, I'm creating a movie library plugin, okay. And I'm also creating a new theme to uh, represent or display my uh, movies post in, in the front end. But if I create a th new theme, okay, and an indentive, sorry, indent in that theme, uh, if I can add it, uh, if I register custom post type and if user want to change a theme, then it will lose the custom post type because uh, at a time only one theme is can be active. Okay, so if theme, theme is changed, then uh, register post type function won't work and the user will lose their data. So the data will be stored in the database, but they cannot see in the WordPress admin. Okay, so better it's to create a custom post types or the custom taxonomies into the plugin. Okay, and there are some best practices. So for registering the post type, uh, we have to call the register post type function and we have to hook this, uh, we have to call this function after, uh, before the admin it and admin it hook and after setup, uh, before the after setup theme hook. Okay, so uh, the uh, base hook is to use to init hook. So init hook is uh, executed when the WordPress has been loaded. So all the plugins, the current activated theme have been loaded. Okay, so we will use init hook. And there are some best practices that uh, we cannot use, uh, we cannot exceed uh, a post type slug uh, more than 20 characters because um, in, in the database table, post type column have that limitation, a uh, very careful limitation, okay? Then we cannot use WP underscore our, our, our identifier uh, just to make sure that uh, it like to ensure the forward compatibility. So we should avoid that. And we should not have a two, uh, like two generic name because like uh, if I, if we are, if I'm creating, uh, for example, ticketing system or the products I'm creating, uh, like I'm just displaying the sum of the products in my front, on my website. And if I just use the product or the, or, or the ticket, or the, maybe I'm creating the event plugin. And if I just use event for a custom post type, then these are the two generic uh, names which can be used by the other plugins too, right? Uh, there will be some plugins uh, which are developing the functionality on a same on a same content type. So better to use uh, uh, some prefix which is based unique based on your theme or or, or the plugin, and uh, which will uh, differentiate your uh, post type with, uh, from the other custom post types. Okay, because we cannot resolve it until unless one we can disable uh, the another custom post types. Okay, so these are the naming uh, best practices we have to follow uh, while registering the custom post types. Okay, and I will go through this code base too. Uh, okay, and uh, like we, we already talked about it and there are some filters as well which we can use. So I will go through that also. Okay, see you on our next video. Jai WordPress.